How does open banking consent work? Don't worry, it won't take long. We'll get through it very quickly. So, to make this somewhat complex procedure more easily understandable, consent management can be divided into three different phases. One, consent phase. The interface relays to the user what information is requested, clearly exposing its purpose and always allowing for explicit opt-out. If the user provides consent, they should be informed of the time-bound nature of the permission, assuring they remain in control of their data. Two, authentication phase. Bank takes over the process and engages the user in authentication methods to ensure data security. User identity is verified, reassuring them that the third-party provider, TPP, cannot see their credentials. This stage of the process should be distinct from the TPP's user flow. Banks should use the same login credentials process as their online banking to create familiarity and trust. Three, authorization phase. Bank relays to the user what information is about to be shared with the TPP. Bank asks user if they authorize the sharing of account information, always allowing for request denial. Response from the user is sent to the bank's back end and data must be recorded accordingly. Consumers must always be aware of who they are providing access to their data, for how long, and for what purpose. Let's also not forget that users have the right to revoke this consent. 